and it's looking good for Elizabeth here, I have to say. Queen I, I, there on yeah. A3. I mean, take a look how white's king, the pawns around it are just ruined. All black knees is a knight to get to C4. And it's going to be happy days. And it's equal in material. And, and I, I agree, Ivanka, if we just look at who's got the stronger king, well, black's king is in no danger. White is a long way from getting to that king. Maybe the last move, white is trying to get something going, but even then there's not really any threats. So black does have a bit of time and black Elizabeth with the black piece is now maneuvering to pressure that weakened square. And if you can get this knight out of the way, there's a big threat. So Anna bringing the bishop around to defend, a good defensive maneuver there, but is it gonna be in time? Um, mm -hmm. With, I, I liked your knight a5 to c4. I thought that was a very clever idea. I mean, you could play it now or you could. You can just, still do it. You can still but do it. I, I like, first of all, look, just defend the d5 pawn and then get on with the knight a5, knight c4. Yeah, because otherwise, I guess this, may, maybe white is threatening to take this pawn. I'm not sure if white is, but what, why allow that possibility? Let's just defend it first. And let's remind everyone, looking at the stats of these two players who have played many times before, it's been clear that in the past, in the quicker time limits, Anna Muzichuk has a tremendous score over Lizzie. She has a nine victory score against Lizzie's one, but Lizzie in this tournament has been playing fantastic chess. And uh, what is she going to play now? Got to keep up on the clock, I feel, in this part of the competition. She has just played rook d8. Sensible move. Very sensible move. I'm out, I'm even expecting moves from Elizabeth like h6 before she initi initiates active operations. This is very difficult for white to do anything. And do we have a move from Anna? Nope. No, and I'm thinking about any way to drum up some counterplay. And that is the problem in white's position. White is just defending um because these pawns are going to leave your king very weak i think white's done a very good job of defending so far but it's not fun defending forever because it's really easy to make mistakes and good. there's no obvious way that white can keep defending here Yvanka. maybe you just go for it this is really slow but you've got to try something right yeah maybe use the yeah, f pawn maybe. just throw yeah the f, f i was going to suggest f5 f6 yeah and see see where that one takes you it's knight e5 difficult. might be a possibility then i've just realized yeah and that will then come in with tempo so it's really hard to even move f5 because you yeah you give away the e5 square you can also and... pounce on the c3 pawn by going knight a7 knight b5 is that good of a position for black wow. it's a lovely idea a really really clever idea putting the knight on a7 bringing it into this aggressive attacking role and this is okay. So the queen has come over to f3. I, I'm not sure how that helps white's position here. And now Lizzie has a number of moves. And I think if I was black, I'd be thinking about what to do with the knight. I love Yvanka's idea of getting the knight to this square. Clever. But you can also play very simply and just go to a5. And she has just kept it very simple here. Logical move there. Yvanka. Yeah. Knight a5, put the knight on c4, and it's appeared there on the board, and rook to d4 from Anna. I'm guessing the queen just can move out of the way. There Still. is a threat. I think queen takes yes. e4 may be a threat. You know, maybe. I'm not even sure that's a threat, because you have queen e8 at the end, but it's it's something to watch well, out for. Well, you, you don't want to allow that kind of counterplay. So we no. see queen to c6. This is also good. Ooh, and, oh, oh, oh but she's second. fallen oh, for it. This is bad. She's Queen takes e4. I told you it's a threat. <gasps> she's fallen for Queen takes e4. Lizzie had a great position. And now Queen takes knight, followed by Rook takes here. It's going to be a piece up. And Lizzie just fell for this. She has blundered. She's showing any emotion oh. there. She dropped a piece in a really promising position. This is where she had to play your move, h6. She didn't play it. She's a piece down now. Anna Muzichuk has grabbed her chance. Yeah. And all of a sudden oh. it's turned like that. It's completely winning for Anna. Completely winning. Yeah. How 
what a turnaround well Savage. there is still some complication because the white king is still open so i'm expecting lizzie and she has grabbed the pawn on c3 and now she just has to go a5 b5 see what happens but an extra yeah. night they tend to win games that was massive though ivanka i mean black had such a good position and you know what you suggested it ivanka you said just give your king an escape square because the major problem in that variation was that if you ever take the queen rook takes rook is not just check it's a back ranker a back rank checkmate and if black had given the king an opportunity to move away you would have avoided this trick and white is now a piece up the only hope that black has is if white returns the favor and blunders but i don't see that happening at this level anna muzichuk has been playing such precise chess throughout there is another game after this there is a chance for lizzie to bounce back mm. yeah but what a devastating start to the blitz tie breaks to blunder a piece in such a way that is going to hurt and it's going to be difficult to recover from that and yeah really nothing that uh, elizabeth can do she plays age six a little bit late unfortunately yeah for her. But still there are some chances i'm just thinking about perhaps there's a kind of a dream that black can kind of go b5 but uh, anna muzichuk she is ruthless when she needs to be and she now offers a trade of queens queen check just a spite check is not going to get anywhere king to b2 or knight to c1 is also good enough yeah quite good technique from anna here i mean when you're big material up when you're like uh, as white as a whole piece up you just try and swap pieces off and uh, white is getting ready to swap the rooks off now I, I think we should go back to the other game because i think it's clear now that this one uh, barring anything serious i know they're getting the critical stage but it's pretty straightforward right. for anna Let, let's just dive over and have a look at our other game where we have